Jeez. I want to put the camera like all the way against the wall. I look terrible, dude. I don't I, I, I absolutely look awful. I need like a, a, a new coat of makeup like this thick right now. Ugh. Oh, it looks so bad. So I'm like, I need to put on like beauty cam. <laughs> Anyways, so back to what I was talking about. You know, with triggers, you really, it's really important to find out you know, with any personality disorder, I think any, with any any kind of mental illness, that you know what are your triggers, and then you just learn to 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 stop them in their tracks, or at least family, friends, they know like you know this is just something you you shouldn't be around. And usually, like you know, there's sometimes like if if I if I realize something you know new is it's gonna cause me problems, I used to be able to tell tell people and to anybody with mental illness. This is the one thing. I'm. It seems like I don't have thick skin because I'm always like crying like a baby. Yeah, I, I really I do cry a lot, but I do have a little bit of tough skin, a little bit. You know, you have to just sometimes just learn that like, you know, people are gonna be mean. It does not matter. Who cares? Next thing you know, I'm gonna post something. And I'm gonna be like, oh my god, somebody sent me a new message and I start crying. But majority of the time, I try, I try to try to live by that like people are mean and yeah you know, like I don't believe in revenge and I don't care like you have to kind of learn not to care people are gonna criticize people that are have any kind of mental illness or not normal they're gonna criticize and they're gonna be mean sometimes you just ignore it like expect it and grow some thick skin like you know I'm always comfortable going places by myself actually I hate going places with people you know like I'll honestly show up somewhere go be there by myself and have the best time because I just I feel more comfortable you know I can honestly I just I grew that thick skin rather than hanging around people and having to adjust myself for them to accept and all these things take time like I'm, I'm telling you you guys see me two years ago what the F? like I was a wreck actually I don't even need to say that all I have to do is look at my pictures I look like an oompa loompa like this orange yellow hair thing going on like orange skin yeah, I am never gonna be a Barbie, dude. <laughs> but yeah, you can see like I was a little bit of a wreck. This is more me. This is more like me. And you just you have to you know it's it's a, it's a process. You know you'll you find yourself once you start realizing you know this is me. I accept this is who I'm always gonna be, and I'm gonna try to heal myself. There's gonna be ups and downs, and. It's gonna be nice people, it's gonna be mean people, you're gonna find people that are gonna be amazing and awesome, and you're gonna find some people that aren't. Ignore the ones that aren't, and if you see them, try to make them like you, and if they don't, then it's okay. And this is just like, I mean, well, I guess in general, but with people with mental illness, you need to grow some thick skin. People are mean, they're gonna say mean things. I learned, you know, like when I go around some people, like recently, I honestly don't go out a lot. And not that I did before, but at least I could sneak out and I wasn't like nervous. Like these days, you know, I don't go out a lot. And it's, you know, I just tell, tell some of my friends, I'm like, listen, sometimes when I'm going out, I don't like to see people, you know, who, who either knew my ex or sometimes like I say, you guys, please don't invite me to like, you know, any of your like weddings or baby showers and it's not that I'm not like and I'm saying like just you know right now I'll tell them like you know in the next few months and it's not that I'm not happy I'm actually I wish all my friends were married and had a million babies so I could play with their babies and you know like and I'll just like move off I'll be like can I be a third wheel like of course I want great things for them but sometimes you know they'll understand I say just don't invite them to me like right now I just I feel so bad it's like it'll trigger me I'll just feel so sad and you know I kind of why I've been distancing, distancing, dis, distancing, oh my god, it was like with the way I'm talking, distancing myself, stutter, stutter, dude, anyway, <laughs> I've really, you know, been just kind of keeping to myself, better way to word it, right, <laughs> and it, it's really that, I just, you know, your triggers are, can lead into, you know, other cra crazier things, right, so, I mean, it's okay to to sometimes tell your friends this is this is what's going on, tell your family, and hopefully they understand, and they should. Um, because I hope you guys understand. Don't invite me to your wedding, but you know what? If you guys have divorce parties, 
I'm gonna be right there. If you have breakup parties, call me. I'll like party, I'll be like, ah, I'm not the only like loner. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Do they even have divorce parties? Well, I didn't get married, but I got I have a breakup party. Actually, you know that'd be great closure, a breakup party. Oh, cut up all of his cards. I was oh, that sounds wonderful. Does that sound mean that I have a smile on my face when I'm saying that's like demented? I'm like, hey guys, let's like have a bonfire. I wanna burn his pictures. Oh, that sounds so I think that I'm gonna start that. A breakup party. Let's all throw one. I'm gonna put in my hookah. I really do. I remember that. So anyways, identify your trigger. Don't be afraid to tell people about these things. Don't be afraid to talk about it. I make these videos feel awesome. I mean, I want to talk all the time. And you know, to be honest, like, I, I want to go out all the time. I wish, I wish I could. And it just sucks because, to be honest, I, it's just, I want, like, one, one, one guy. I want my one guy to love me and I love him and us. You know, not, oh, I'm gonna start crying. I'm gonna start crying, I feel so bad now. <laughs> like I said, I want, I wish I could go out. I just wish somebody would love me and I would love him. Oh, this is so depressing. Dude, I gotta change the music with this in the back. Oh, this is fucking sad. See, you see, I'm talking about triggers and shit. Now I'm getting sad. Oh, I need to put on something happy. Oh, it's like a Mandy Moore movie. Okay, anyway, so, I wish I could go out though. Right now, it's like, this is the point, like, as much as I like going out by myself, it gets so sad to go to the club, like, with a bunch of, like, you know, friends and stuff, and then you're like, wow, like, I don't think any of these people would ever want to, like, are looking at me like, you know, let's, let's, like, exchange numbers, and I want you to, like, one day, like, I don't think they'd ever look at me more like, I want Jen to be my, you know, potential wife one day. Who the fuck would say that, actually? <laughs> I don't think anybody would ever say, I want Jen to be my potential wife. That's something I'll never hear. That's so depressing. Okay, I'm gonna go something happy. It's the Backstreet Boys, that's freaking depressing. And Sink is happy. Oh no, tattoo. I think they're lesbians, right? <laughs> this is happy. Sorry. I'm sad, I have to put on something happy. Bob the Builder. Dude, I'm depressing myself right now. <laughs> well, anyways. What was, I, what was I talking about? I'm like all sad now. Oh, wow, wow, well, with benefit. All right, yeah. <laughs> you know, I thought I was a loser before I made this video, and now a loser is cool. <laughs> hey, you know, actually, I'm gonna make my video a little bit better. You know, I think I'm a loser. Look at this. Now I'm a crazy cat woman. This is so depressing, right? But actually, I'm actually kind of happy right now. <laughs> Kitty's like, oh, what are you, you're watching all these toddler tunes at five in the morning with no sleep? Crazy girl, go to sleep. <laughs> well, you know what? So I have like 30 seconds left on the camera. I didn't delete that much. I don't know why I'm just like, I should just plug my camera into the computer so I can download all my videos and then delete them. But I'm so worried because this is not my computer, it's my brother's computer, that all my videos are gonna get hacked or something, uh, going in the mainframe, and then everybody's gonna see the videos that I didn't want to upload, like all the like crazy shit, like, yeah. I don't actually make that much crazy shit. You guys would just probably like, all delete me. <laughs> I'll, I'll have like, one friend, myself, empty profile. Go back to MySpace. <laughs> this video will out, Father. Okay, okay, talk to you guys later, okay? I'm gonna go change the channel. Bye!